Hello my bullet journaling friends, welcome back to my channel. So I guess it's that time of the month again that we're saying goodbye to what seems to be an amazing month and saying hello to a different one. Here is a quick flip through on how my October has been. This month was pretty amazing but I'll get more into that next time. For now, let's check out what November has in store for us. Here I have our draft sketches of how my layout would be turning out. I don't know if you can tell but my theme for this month is books with no title in particular because November for me is very relaxing. It's that time where it's starting to get pretty chilly at night and what's a better combination with that than a book and a scented candle. So for my monthly spread, I got really creative with my layout. I used the spine of a book as the background and placed them in a stack vertically in a shelf. I'm pretty excited with how that's going to turn out since it's my first time doing something different with my monthly spread. And for my other pages, I guess I'm going for a simpler look if I can. But yeah, I, al I always end up making it more extra than I want it to look like. Anyways, I can't wait to work on these spreads and I hope you guys could join me as well. So. If you may, grab your iPads, your pens, and let's get on to journaling. Now that I finally created my layout for my cover page, I will then export it into my GoodNotes app. Now I just upgraded this app and what annoys me is that every time I add in a photo, a bunch of pixels shows up and I have no idea of how to remove or edit them. So if you guys have any clue how, let me know in the comments down below. So please help a girl out. I just really wish that good notes can fix this since it is the latest version and it's more it's been um what do you call this the upgrades has been very shitty so far So that's it, that's my, this is my cover page for the month. I didn't add in the, in the small calendar because I don't know where else to place it, but I'll, I can try it someday. Still a little bit happy with how it looks like. Um, this one is that again. I'm not happy with that one. I might add in a few bits and pieces later, but for now, this will do. I'm really happy with it. Next I have is my monthly spread. So I've mentioned earlier that what I want to do with this part is to draw 7 books that are perfectly aligned in a shelf. And with this spine of the book is where I'll be doodling in what happened throughout the day. Yay. 
and go to my procreate tab again so I can create I when I'm done with a page I uh, should put them together so that it doesn't look like it yeah that's the guacho now Now we're done with this page. Um, really happy how it turned out. And colorful niya lang, pero okay naman. Masaya ako. Okay. So, okay. Next page na tayo, which is my new things a day page. Now let's move on to my other spreads, which are my new things a day page, habit tracker, and weekly spread ideas. With my new things today page, I kept it really simple. I just added a few ripped newspapers that I added earlier into my cover page and a few Polaroids and coats here and there. Just my basics on what I do most of the time with my bullet journals. Okay. <coughs> no cut you video. I don't know who exactly Shana cut, so I'm just gonna continue until then sa kung saan ko siya na notice. Um, like add in lang ako naman. Uh, overlay? Underlay. Underlay. Para sa background. Itong for my new things a day page. What will make this page look more pretty or intact with the frame for the mind? In a way, I like this page now. After this one, I'm going to go to the like what I did on the month of September but ka add lang din ang mga photos of so, some reading um, I don't think details have a photo of the reading but we'll check later and then a quote up here I guess so I found this quote that reads someday everything will make perfect sense so for now Laugh at the confusion, smile through the tears, and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. It's so true, and I like it too.
Now, for my habit tracker, I made use of the Old Rose shade since it's pretty calming with the eyes and I feel like it works really great with the other spreads so far. Um, I kept it pretty basic, added in some ripped newspapers, washies that I found on the internet, and craft papers, and placed tiny calendars to track my habits since I find it really useful for the month of October. Onto my final spread, which is a sample of my weekly spreads for the month of November. I think I forgot to show you guys the draft that I made for this one. But anywho, what I wanted my weekly spreads to look like is for it to just give me the right amount of space to write in. Since I'm really getting back into writing down the things that has been happening in my very mundane life. So that's pretty much it for today's video. As you've seen, the spread started out really chaotic but it all worked out up to the very end. Everything is cohesive and intact with one another and I'm pretty much happy of the outcome. So I wanted to remind you guys before this video ends is that even though it seems to be a bit gloomy for now, always remember that God will never let you down. He has a plan for all of us and it will all make sense in the very end. I hope you guys will keep that in mind and that has been my November monthly spread. I hope you guys get to enjoy that one. Tag me on Instagram if you ever recreated this look or if you enjoyed watching them. Let me know in the comments what other types of videos you want to check out and if you already made it this far into the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell button beside it to get notified whenever I post a new video. I really hope you guys like it and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys!